China's National Space Science Center just released new high-resolution observations of the object known internationally as 3I Atlas. But here's the shock. China is refusing to call it an interstellar comet. Instead, they're labeling it a comet-like visitor. The comet-like visitor barely shines. At magnitude 6.7, it's dimmer than what most human beings can see with the naked eye, which tops out around magnitude 6. Fast and faint, that's a tricky combination. And the differences hidden in those words may confirm what astronomers feared all along. The newly released dataset comes from the Tianwen-1 Mars Orbiter, which captured 3I Atlas from a distance of nearly 29 million kilometers. Its high-resolution imaging camera, built around a 38.7-centimeter primary mirror, slightly less powerful than NASA's high-rise, recorded a bright nucleus wrapped in a coma stretching thousands of kilometers. The CNSA team even produced a short animation from a sequence of 30-second exposures, showing the object drifting across the Martian sky. Although limited in sharpness, these frames confirmed that 3I Atlas was active, luminous, and visibly shedding material. Yet, at that stage, nothing in the Tianwen-1 images hinted at the far stranger behavior that would appear in later observations. That shift came from Earth. Using the 2.56-meter Nordic Optical Telescope in the Canary Islands, astronomers captured the first detailed post-perihelion images, and what they revealed completely changed the tone of the conversation. 3I Atlas appears to remain a single, intact object, with no signs of fragmentation, but displays a sunward-pointing anti-tail, a rare and dynamically unusual dust structure flowing toward the sun instead of away from it. This geometry is notoriously difficult to model and is rarely seen with such clarity. Its stable, rigid appearance, combined with this unexpected dust configuration, has already forced scientists to reevaluate the assumptions they made when the object was first classified. At the same time, pressure is mounting in the United States. NASA's sharper high-rise images, captured more than 40 days ago but stalled during the government shutdown, could be released at any moment. Taken during a critical phase of the object's approach, these frames may either confirm the anomalies seen from the Nordic Optical Telescope or reveal reveal new, unresolved irregularities in rotation, heat emission, or surface composition. The timing is no coincidence. As China adopts careful language, the United States is on the verge of releasing data that could either settle the debate or ignite an even deeper mystery. In the weeks before China's data release, observatories were already noting oddities that hinted 3I Atlas was far from typical. Its brightness rose and dipped in uneven steps instead of following the smooth curve expected from a volatile rich comet. Spectroscopic surveys reported a chemical mix that made little sense, weak water and carbon monoxide signatures, but unexpectedly strong carbon dioxide, implying a nucleus far less icy than predicted. Small, irregular deviations in its path suggested non-gravitational forces that didn't match outgassing models, and early rotational measurements hinted at a controlled wobble that seemed too stable for a fragile, porous body. These scattered clues built into a quiet but growing suspicion. 3I Atlas wasn't behaving like any comet astronomers knew. China's release of the Tianwen-1 dataset provided the first substantial visual confirmation of the object's morphology. While the resolution was limited at nearly 29 million kilometers, the nucleus was unmistakable, bright, compact, and encased in a coma several thousand kilometers wide. The animation created by the CNSA team showed 3I Atlas drifting against the Martian sky with a steadiness that suggested coherent structure rather than a loose cloud of icy fragments. Scientists took note an intact body was expected, but the uniformity was striking. For a volatile rich object nearing the sun, fragmentation is common, yet 3I Atlas appeared surprisingly stable. These early clues, subtle but persistent, created a sense of unresolved tension. The object wasn't behaving incorrectly, but it also wasn't behaving comfortably within the margins predicted by standard comet physics. That tension escalated dramatically when the Nordic Optical Telescope captured the object after perihelion. By then, the sun should have stripped away weakly bound surface material, potentially exposing internal structure or triggering partial breakup. 
Instead, 3I Atlas emerged unchanged, still a single consolidated mass. More striking was the sunward-pointing anti-tail, a sharply defined dust structure flowing toward the sun rather than away from it. While anti-tails are not unheard of, the clarity and geometry of this one stood out. It hinted at dust being released in an orderly fashion along the orbital plane, less like chaotic shedding, more like patterned emission. This raised immediate questions. What surface conditions or internal processes could produce such a clean, coherent line of dust? And why was this configuration appearing so prominently only after perihelion? Simultaneously, spectroscopic data from multiple observatories painted a puzzling chemical portrait. Common cometary volatiles such as water vapor, carbon monoxide, and methanol were notably weak or missing. Instead, a stronger-than-expected carbon dioxide signature emerged, suggesting a nucleus with unusual thermal or compositional characteristics. If the object was poor in water ice but rich in CO2 or other refractory materials, it would heat and respond to the sun very differently from traditional comets. Its stability near perihelion, paired with its sparse volatile release, hinted that 3I Atlas might not be a fragile ice and dust aggregate, but something more consolidated, resistant, and structurally distinct. Its stability near perihelion, paired with its sparse volatile release, hinted that 3I Atlas might not be a fragile ice and dust aggregate, but something more consolidated, resistant, and structurally distinct. And as more observatories compared their data, what began as isolated oddities solidified into a pattern. Ten persistent, measurable departures from the behavior of any known comet, interstellar or otherwise. The first sign was the object's unstable, fluctuating brightness, which rose and fell in sudden, uneven steps, rather than following the smooth sublimation curve expected of an icy body approaching and receding from the sun. Natural comets brighten predictably as their surface ices vaporize, but 3I Atlas brightened in irregular bursts, as if illuminated by processes that activated independently of solar heating. These jumps defied thermal modeling and hinted that dust release was being driven by mechanisms unrelated to the standard physics of sublimation. Then came the absence of expected gas signatures. Spectra from multiple observatories failed to detect strong emissions from water vapor, methane, carbon monoxide, or other hallmark cometary volatiles. Instead, the data skewed heavily toward carbon dioxide, a composition extremely unusual for an object producing such a large visible coma. Without the typical volatiles powering jets, the visible activity of 3I Atlas became even harder to explain. Something was releasing dust, but it wasn't the chemistry scientists were accustomed to. These chemical puzzles tied directly into the third anomaly, non-gravitational accelerations that made no sense. Most comets drift slightly from gravitational trajectories because jets of sublimating gas give them tiny thrusts. But 3I Atlas displayed deviations that did not align with any jet geometry, brightness phases, or dust structures. Some accelerations occurred when the object was dim. Others contradicted the expected direction of solar heating. Standard models of jet-induced motion simply simply couldn't reproduce the pattern observed. Its surface reflectivity posed yet another challenge. Data showed an unexpectedly uniform albedo across the nucleus, far smoother than the modeled patchwork surfaces typical of comets where exposed ices, dust layers, and fresh fractures create chaotic contrast. A uniform surface suggests a hardened crust or consolidated exterior, something dense enough to maintain consistency even under solar stress. In extreme interpretation, some researchers even suggested regions of metallic-like reflectance, though such claims remain contentious. Despite its activity, 3I Atlas also displayed no natural fragmentation, even after surviving the intense thermal and gravitational forces at perihelion. Most comets shed material aggressively near the sun, producing debris clouds or even splitting into pieces. Yet this visitor emerged completely intact, its structure unwavering. The Nordic Optical Telescope images revealed a nucleus far stronger than the fragile aggregates typically assembled in the outer reaches of star systems. Its durability into that internal strength that did not align with a volatile-dominated body. The sixth anomaly emerged from its rotation, which shifted in ways that suggested internal rigidity rather than the loose, torque-responsive behavior of comet nuclei. Jets from sublimation ordinarily impose rotational changes, often dramatically, but 3I Atlas rotated as though its internal mass distribution resisted such torque, processing slightly but never tumbling chaotically. This hinted at density, layering, or internal structure that was far from porous. 
The seventh anomaly involved its thermal emissions, with certain regions heating more rapidly than cometary ice should allow. Thermal modeling showed that parts of the object warmed disproportionately under solar radiation, implying darker or denser materials with different thermal inertia. These hot spots didn't correlate with visible jets or dust plumes, and the temperatures recorded were incompatible with ice as the sole surface component. Something in its composition absorbed heat far more efficiently than expected. Trajectory modeling introduced the eighth anomaly, its highly unusual approach vector. Interstellar objects typically align with known streams or ejection paths from local galactic structures, but 3i Atlas came from a direction not associated with any detectable stellar nursery, gravitational slingshot candidate, or debris flow. It appeared to drift in from a quiet sector of the sky, its motion not easily traceable to any identifiable origin. Though not impossible, such a trajectory is statistically rare and added to the puzzle of what kind of environment could produce an object like this. At the same time, several observatories reported brief but consistent electromagnetic interference spikes during brightness fluctuations or dust realignments around the object. These disturbances weren't strong enough to indicate anything exotic, and no one claimed definitive electromagnetic emissions from the object itself. Still, the timing was peculiar. Interference coinciding with changes in its coma or dust field suggested complex interactions with the solar wind, perhaps involving fine-charged particles, or physical processes yet to be fully understood. The final anomaly delivered the most unsettling twist. After perihelion, 3i Atlas displayed trajectory changes that defied standard comet dynamics. Even after accounting for gravity, pressure, and plausible jet effects, the object veered slightly from its predicted outbound path. The shift was subtle but unmistakable, larger than any natural jetting could reasonably justify. Observers described it bluntly. It adjusted course more than a natural object should. It wasn't an impossible deviation, but it was an undeniable one, and its cause has yet to be reconciled with known physics. Separately, these anomalies could be dismissed as marginal or explainable. Together, they outline a phenomenon that tests the boundaries of comet science, forcing observers to confront the possibility that 3i Atlas may represent a class of interstellar objects not yet catalogued or understood. China's early caution now appears pressed. Their term, comet-like visitor, carries an unspoken admission that the object fits no familiar template, that its behavior cannot be confidently mapped onto any known family of icy wanderers. It is a diplomatic phrase, but also a scientific shield, a way of acknowledging uncertainty without declaring it outright. To seasoned researchers, the shift in language is almost more revealing than the images themselves. Agencies do not abandon established classifications lightly. They only do so when the data begins to press uncomfortably against the edges of the textbook. As the debates intensify, so does the global sense that 3i Atlas has crossed a threshold from curiosity to controversy. In conference calls and late-night data sessions, astronomers are re-evaluating assumptions they once treated as foundational. How interstellar bodies form, how they survive close stellar passes, how dust can organize itself against solar radiation, and what materials may lie frozen or unfrozen from visitors from beyond our cosmic neighborhood. Every new data point seems to contradict one model while lending strange support to another. The object refuses to settle into a single interpretation. It slips through frameworks, resisting the categories designed to explain it. This is why NASA's unprocessed high-rise frames have taken on such gravity. These images, sharper, deeper, and captured from a vantage point no ground telescope can replicate, are now seen as the key that could unlock or further complicate the puzzle. If they reveal structural banding, unexpected geometry, thermal asymmetries, or surface reflectance patterns previously hidden by distance and resolution, the scientific narrative could shift in an instant. Conversely, if they show a simple, unremarkable nucleus, then every anomaly recorded so far will need to be reconciled with a more conventional explanation. Each outcome comes with its own implications. Each carries its own risks. 
In the background, the public is watching with a mix of wonder and unease. Interstellar objects have always carried an aura of mystery, messengers from regions we cannot see, forged around stars we may never identify. But 3 i Atlas feels different. Its behavior is not merely unfamiliar, it is persistently contradictory. And that contradiction is what fuels the growing disquiet. Scientists are trained to expect the unexpected. What they are not trained for is an object that refuses to act like anything at all. As the world awaits the release of NASA's long-delayed imagery, one truth has become increasingly difficult to ignore. Whatever 3 i Atlas is, it is not behaving like a comet should. It may not even be behaving like a natural object should. The mystery is only growing deeper, and the scientific world is only beginning to glimpse the questions this visitor may leave behind. Questions about the diversity of interstellar bodies, about the physics that govern them, and perhaps most unsettlingly, about the limits of our own understanding when something arrives from the darkness between the stars.